Deaths from drink driving accidents have more than doubled this year, with 10 people dead from January to November. Now, that's compared to four deaths in the same period last year. With this holiday season now in full swing, Marcus Tan joins the traffic police on their hunt for drunk drivers. It's just past midnight. But for these officers, their day is just beginning. Armed with collapsible speed humps and alcohol breathalyzers, they're here to catch errant motorists, including those driving under the influence. And they have more cause for concern this year. The number of accidents from drink driving has risen to 154 in the first 11 months, a jump of more than 13% from the same period last year. This roadblock at Republic Boulevard is one of several island-wide that are put up nightly to screen out sloshed motorists. But beyond keeping the roads safe, the officers are also keeping an eye out for wanted persons, stolen vehicles, as well as contraband or prohibited items like drugs. The police are also working closely with nighttime outlets to encourage responsible drinking. At least one bar is deploying more staff to keep an eye out for guests who've had one too many. Ten minutes from the roadblock, Yin Bar has a game plan in place to keep their patrons contented and safe. The thing about the staff here at Ying Ba is that they're very trained and they're very seasoned as well. So they know uh, when to get the guests to step outside, when to get them to have a breather, have a glass of water. And we also are not like opposed to calling valet services to get them home safely. With a full house expected come New Year's Eve, they've also brought in extra hands to help with tipsy customers. Back at the roadblock, most who've been pulled over have been allowed to leave, except for a transgressing few. Within an hour, at least four failed their breathalyzer test. They join over 1,500 motorists arrested for drink driving so far this year. They faced a sobering prospect of fines and up to a year in jail.